Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta, and today we are going to understand how to do cross validation using new bias in rapid mind. New bias classifiers are a family of simple classifier, probabilistic classifiers based on applying Bayesian theorem with strong independence assumptions between the features. They are among the simplest Bayesian network models, but coupled with kernel density estimations, where they can achieve high accuracy levels. You can see here how the new new bias classification has been used. What is the advantage of using the cross validation? Basically, once you have built the model, you don't have to train a new model. You basically use the same optimization validation cycle to generate your model and if the training data changes, then you will improve the algorithm by just running it once. The second one is that you can train your model and upload on the server. You can also control where to store the model. Now, what we are doing in the cross-validation is there is a data set which will divide it into testing and training data set. The training data set will enter into the cross-validation where the parameters will be passed and the base parameters will be selected. On that basis, the model will be retrained. The final model which is, which is generated will be evaluated with the basis with the help of test data. Now, actually what we are doing in cross-validation is the entire data set is there. We will divide the data set into some 70 or 30 percent. This training data will be folded five or ten times, which we can specify. Now, in the first split, this becomes the testing data set, and the remaining are the training data set. In second split, again the things will change. This will become the training, and the blue one will become the testing. On that basis, the best parameters are we'll find out the best parameters. And on that basis, the final model is created, which will be evaluated with the help of test data. Now, how we can do this in rapid minor? Let's see. First of all, we will select the heart uh, data set. We will connect the spline here with the play button. Now, you can see here age, gender, chest pain type, resting blood pressure, cholesterol, fasting years, resting ECG, max HR, exercise, old pick. ST slope and the heart disease are considered to create the model. The target variable is a heart disease. We want to classify on the basis of these attributes or we want to predict on the basis of these attributes that a person ha is having a heart disease or not. So again we will go in design and this time I will select the select attribute operator. It is necessary to do this because in your original data set, there may be many attributes, but I only want to work on some specific attributes. So I'll go here, select attributes, subset it, select the attributes. Now I'll select only those attributes which are matter of my interest. So I'll select age, cholesterol, fasting blood sugar, heart disease, old pig and resting blood pressure apply after that i'll have to set the role so i'll go here and i'll set the role from here i'll drag it and drop it i'll specify which is my dependent variable so heart disease is at my dependent variable target role is labor now i'll have to go here and activate the cross validation. I'll drop it from here, cross validation. Now this cross validation is having two layers. It means it is having a sub process inside. When you will double click it on it, the process window will be divided into two parts, training and testing data set. Here, I'll activate new bias. I'll drop it here. I'll connect training with training, model with model, example with throw. Now I will go in apply the model. This apply model will drop in testing data, model connect with model, testing connect with unlabel. Then I'll activate the performance window. where I'll select performance based on classification. I'll connect label with label. 
performance with performance and example with text. I'll press the up arrow and I'll come on the main process. Now I'll have to connect some splines here also. First of all, connect this, connect this. More model connected with the result. Performance connected with the result. And test connected with the result. Now I'll press the play button. And you can see here the hard disks and the predictions according to the algorithm. Now you can see here, this is the prediction according to the algorithm, and this is the original raw data. You can compare the performance vector from here. So with the help of cross-validation, you have found that 316 cases, in case 316 cases are such that the classification of the algorithm was done accurately. It means that the person was not having the heart disease and the algorithm also predicted correctly. In case of uh, here, in this cell, 367 cases were correctly classified. It means that the person was having the heart disease and the algorithm also predicted that yes, the person is having a heart disease. But 141 and 94 are the misclassified cases. The overall accuracy which you got by running the new bias with the cross validation is 74.39 percentage. You can also see the distributions from here, simple chart, distribution table. But more, we are interested in performance vector. Now you can see the visualization from here also, that is activating the visualization from here. For more videos on Rapid Miner, you can subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter kindly. Refer to my playlist in which I have uploaded many videos of Rapid Miner. Please don't forget to press the like button.